Pike County, Illinois. This is our annual pilgrimage over here. This is probably, well, last year we were about at this time, a little later. But this is as late as we usually go. Usually we go over here in the October lull and kind of when the deer start moving, stop moving in Iowa while we're hunting over here. But this year we should hit the pre rut perfect. The weather looks pretty good. It's going to be a little rainy. I don't love it. It seems like it's raining every two days in Illinois for the last six months. <laughs> Especially since I got my food plots in. They complain about that. The food plots look as good as they ever have. So it's gonna be um, it's gonna be a fun time. We got a lot of people coming in. Obviously me and my dad are headed over there now. We got the uh, the hunt winner coming in from YouTube, Chad Randy. We got Russell McDaniels from Aussie Oak. He's bringing the camera guy. We're bringing Cole to film the hunt winner. I got my buddy Luke coming in. So we're gonna have a full house. And uh, I have a feeling we'll be pulling a lot of deer out of these hard, these Pike County hardwoods. Big bluff country. They always run to the ditch so we get our work out between those and dragging the does out. So. We ride high. The Atlanta Braves have won the National League pennant last night, so uh, we had to make sure we could stay around and watch that. So we're pumped up. We're, uh, we're headed east. Well, if I die today, there ain't gonna be no Walmart. We just survived. Code. They wouldn't even let us leave. They locked us in the vision center. Tornado warning, everybody's phone going off. Siren going off. We're just trying to come over here and hunt a buck here. And we almost died at Walmart. Now it's opening up. Thank you, Lord, we survived. Now let's get to the farm. Good morning. First day here in Pike County, Illinois. It's windy, it's rainy, it's misty. We almost set a box, but we figured it's just so uh, tough to bow hunt out of these boxes that we have here. So, unfortunately, they're not redneck. So, what we do, we hopped up in this stand. It's what we call a cherry tree. I killed a good buck here about three or four years ago. We haven't seen a deer, but it sounds like Rusty seeing some deer. Dave, I don't know. He's not far away. He's probably only four or five hundred yards away. Rusty's across the road, but we're sitting on this little clover pinch right here. Leads in this cornfield, so scrapes everywhere. We'll rat rattle here in a minute, but I need a megaphone. First afternoon in Illinois, I had to go to town. I had to get some fridge, a new fridge. I had to do some other stuff, but honestly, and a commode and a faucet. I got it. But thus, we're only going to have, we're lucky, two and a half hours to hunt. I don't know, we ain't even going to have that. We have less than two hours to hunt. Typical, typical Jeff. But always doing something. And here we are. They're chasing, though. I've seen a buck chasing two does. They've seen one. How big was one y'all seen? It was two smaller bucks. Two smaller bucks. Rusty's in here hunting a radish plot. We're going to hunt a radish plot. David's hunting standing beans. We're all spread out. We all can see a long way, so somebody will see a shooter.
didn't see anything. I didn't see a deer to probably 45 minutes. And now since then they've been moving like crazy. We just seen a three or four year old run up through there. We seen a, a mature deer cruising earlier. It didn't have much for a rack, but he was huge body. Now we got a doe right here feeding toward us. I almost grunted at that buck, but I didn't want to alert this doe because I think she's a pretty good decoy right now because they're looking hard anything they can find with no horns on it they're after it my dad took a doe decoy well he took a buck decoy and took the horns off of it but he's already had a couple deer working i think so it's finally happening it's raining but it's happening she's nervous just look back down that ridge that's what we need she's been looking that way He's probably in there just like licking his lips. Come back, see how that leg comes up right here? Look, straight up. Go right beside, right behind that leg right there. Look right here, come here. Yeah, come here, look right here. See that leg go straight up? Huh? We just learned a valuable lesson about deer hunting. He didn't get to eat, well, first off, he didn't get to eat no chocolate in the blind tonight, so he's he's a little more focused. But we had this little four-pointer come in, and he wanted to shoot it, wanted to shoot it. And I said, look, if you shoot this, are you, will you be proud of that buck? And he says, I don't know. And I said, would you hang it in your room and show people? He says, no. And I said, well, okay, you answer your question. If you're, when you're taking the life of an animal, you have to be proud of it. You have to say, that's the one I want right there. And then that's, that's when you pull the trigger. You don't just shoot to kill. You hunt. If you need food, that's one thing. But we got a freezer full of meat right now. So you have to shoot an old buck, an older deer that you're proud of. Or not older, but a bigger deer, I mean. So when you see one you're proud of, it don't really matter how old he is. But sometimes old ones don't have big racks, but you're proud that you outsmarted the old one. See what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs>